Good morning, second grade. Happy Wednesday. So today is April 22nd, and what you're going to do today is you're going to finish, um, well not finish, but you're going to continue reading pages 8 through 11 in your Introducing Asia book. And yesterday you read some fun facts about Asia to kind of get you thinking about what's going on, and now you're going to read about the geography of Asia. And so what I want you to do is I want you to read pages 8 through 11, Introducing Asia. Then you're going to complete the assignment titled Geography, okay? And there's qu three questions you need to answer for me, two or three questions that you need to answer for each section. That means that you have to answer both those questions for the first section and then again for the second section. But how do we know which one's a section? You guys remember? You use your headings, right? Each heading breaks up the sections for us. So... The heading titled Geography, you guys are going to do answer the two questions. The next heading you're going to look at and then answer the two questions again. All right. Then this week you have a check-in with me, which means I get to talk to you guys, which is awesome. Um, so go ahead and fill out the discussion post that tells me when is it when is it a good time to call you this week, okay? We are also going to do a Zoom call again tonight. We're going to try it. Okay, last week we had six friends come on, which was so much fun. We're going to do it again tomorrow, so hopefully we can get some more people on. I can't wait to see your smiling faces. Miss Coda and I are so excited. And then I want you to complete 30 minutes on iReady, okay? And remember, you only have to get 45, so after you're done with your 45 minutes, you can stop. All right, so today's kind of a special day. Okay, it is April 22nd, and it's a Wednesday, but today is also Earth Day. You guys ever heard of Earth Day before? So Earth Day is a special holiday where all the countries of the world get together and we talk about how to keep our Earth healthy and how to keep it safe. So we can do that by what? Picking up garbage and recycling, trying to use less plastic. You guys always see me with my... Um, my big water bottle that I have, right? I can use that over and over again. So it's less single use plastic. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna read you guys kind of a story. Now the Lorax is one of my favorite stories to read for Earth Day, but I left that one in the classroom. But luckily I remembered the Pout Pout Fish Cleans Up the Ocean. And I am so excited to read you guys this book. It is so cute. And it's a good story about making sure we clean up after ourselves. Let's go ahead and start reading. The ocean is amazing. Mr. Fish's grin was wide. The beautiful surroundings left him wonderstruck inside. Oh, look how happy he is. His head was full of happy. His heart was full of awe. But his smile sank away when he turned around and saw. I hear some rhyming words, don't you guys? I wonder what he saw. A big, big mess. Oh no, look how sad he looks. Whatever could it be, but he couldn't really tell. So when he talked with a friend, he noticed it as well. There's a problem that needs solving. I don't know what to do, but I'm going to find some answers. Would you like to join me too? Absolutely, said Miss Shimmer as she grabbed a few supplies. They travel to the mystery mess and see with their own eyes. Swimming off, they were enchanted by the ocean and the bright, but looming in the distance was that dark, Dismal sight. Dismal kind of means sad. Look how big that is. What is that? A big, big mess. What's it made of? They both wondered, and they pondered this out loud. Around them, others gathered in a small but growing crowd. Oh, no, look, you can see there's stuff on the ground. What does it say? Plastic junk. Collect them all. Look at that. There's a problem that needs solving, and we don't know what to do, but we're going to find some answers. Would you like to join us, too? 
Count us in, said Mr. Seahorse. Then he powered up his rig. Enthusiasm bubbled. Yes, the group was getting big. Look, it looks like Mr. Seahorse is bringing his little car thing with him. Oh my goodness. I'm looking at these photos and you can see there's like a skeletons of something eating a whole pizza box. There's a flip-flop and a sand bucket and pail. And look, Miss Shimmer doesn't even know, but there's a hole in her bag and all of her stuff is falling out. Look at that. Oh no. They jetted through the ocean in a peaceful sort of bliss, but the thing that stretched before them was impossible to miss. A big, big mess. As we're getting closer to this pile, there's more and more trash. There's like takeout boxes and a fork and a knife and plastic bags and another box. This looks like a volcano, but look, it has all that plastic all over it. Hmm. You can look over here too on the coral, like a cup. Who will fix it? Fish were asking, hoping someone else would know. There was lots of conversation as they traveled with the flow. There's a problem that needs solving and we don't know what to do, but we're gonna find some answers. Who would like to join us? Oh no, look at all these fish. They're getting trapped in the plastic. You see this and the sea turtles eating the bag. Look at him. That's not very good. Look at that turtle, he's all wrapped up in a rope. All is one, said Mr. Squid, as she, sh or Mrs. Squid, as she swished some junk, away some junk. The group continued forward towards the nearing pile of gunk. They reached the mystery mess, they took measurements and samples, they made notes and they did research, they found similar examples. When everyone was finished, they assembled to discuss. They came to one conclusion. The problem is, what do you guys think the problem is? The problem is us. We made the big, big mess. They froze in disbelief. Then they all began to shout, feeling troubled and uneasy, and some began to pout. Look at all that trash they're swimming in. Were they stuck with this forever? Would it worsen? Would it grow? Mr. Fish was worried too, but there's one thing I know. It is awful that we caused it, but this bad news can be good, for it means that we can solve it if we all agree we should. Silence filled the ocean. Their future was at stake. The moment of decision, but which would they make? A big, big yes. We can do it, they exclaimed positively, yes and yep. So they all pitched in together and cleaned the ocean up. So everyone agreed that it was worth cleaning up, right? They gathered up the garbage with the help of everyone. They worked to fix and the remedy, the damage that they had done. Look, they're vacuuming the ocean floor. How silly is that? But look, they're cleaning up all the garbage and recycling and putting things in the trash. Then they talked about new habits, how to travel with less trace and to reduce their use of plastic and put trash into its place. Problems have solutions, so we learn what we can do. Together, we are the answer. I like that. Remember, Mr. Seahorse had that big car thing, and now look, he's riding a bicycle. He's getting around in a cleaner way, right? Because look, see, there's no gas or anything that's clogged up. And they have eco-friendly bags, kind of like reusable bags. I don't know if um, you guys use those at the grocery store. I have reusable bags, so every time you go, instead of getting new plastic bags, you use the same cloth ones. See, and they're putting the recycling Oh, that looks so much better, right? So it says, together we're the answer. Would you like to join us too? So I kind of just talked about some ways that you can help clean up the ocean or even just kind of our world, right? 
so you can use less plastic instead of drinking out of a water bottle like the plastic kind you can just get a cup and drink some water from a tap you can um, try to use reusable bags at the grocery store if you can you can make sure if you see trash outside you pick it up and put and clean it up and throw it away I know a lot of you guys are really good about that at PE when you guys come in you always have hands full of trash ready to throw away which is just so awesome so I hope you guys enjoy enjoyed our book the pout pout fish cleans up the ocean I was so excited to read it to you guys and I hope everyone has a great Wednesday and I'll see you guys all tomorrow